Walsall was really the, the home of the 1960 World Cup. It began here with the very first match and it ended here with the last match. The tournament had been organised as a league and so with one game remaining, Great Britain and Australia were level on points and the one remaining game was Great Britain versus Australia. So effectively the last match of the league tournament was the Rugby League World Cup final, winner takes all. Incredibly tense match, massive crowd here, 33,000 people, which is great considering it was also on TV. It was the first ever Rugby League World Cup, World Cup tournament that had ever been televised in full. And eventually, Great Britain emerged as the winners. 10 points to three, they scored two tries to the Australians won. So it's time, and Great Britain win the World Cup, taking it from Australia, the holders of the win in this rather sensational match by 10 points. The three. One of the Great Britain try scorers that effectively returned the match was Billy Boston, the iconic Wigan player. Billy Boston was a household name, not just in rugby league supporting homes, but in sporting homes across the nation, because he was such a powerful, devastating, and skillful winger, um, far beyond most of the players in the game. And also, of course, he, he stood out because he was one of the first black British athletes to become a household name. He's got a statue at Wigan. He's got a statue at Wembley Stadium, the historic home of the Challenge Cup final. He also played a significant role in international rugby league and particularly in the World Cup, as was attested to by his importance in the final match of that 1960 tournament. One of the most tense and hard-fought rugby league World Cup finals ever.